Hello? Barbara. No, I'm sorry she's not here right now. This is a roommate. She isn't there? No, can I take a message? I don't understand. I told her I was going to call her tonight. She said she'd wait to hear from me. Well, yes, yeah, she, she said she was expecting a call. As a matter of fact, she asked me to uh, uh, wait here for it. There was an emergency. She had to go out for a while. I see. Well, how soon will she be back? Uh, I don't know exactly. But I have to talk to her right away. It's terribly important. Well, I tell you what, why don't you leave your name and your number? I'll get a message to her right away and she can call you back then. How soon will you be talking to her? Right away. I know I'm going to call her where she is. All right. My name is Claudia. Sure. Okay, and what's the number? She knows the number. Please, make sure she gets the message as soon as possible. Tell her I'm waiting to hear from her. Okay, I will, absolutely. Hi, it's me again. I can talk more freely now. I'm glad you called back. Well, I said I would. Now, how's Paul? You don't have to worry about Paul. He's fine. That isn't it. Well, then I don't understand. What, what are you so upset about? It's something altogether different, Barbara. But it's just so awful. Well, if it's not Paul, what is it? It's Raymond. Raymond? Why? He lost his job and he started drinking and... Barbara, it was so awful today. I'm sorry. Um, Raymond's been drinking. What's happened? He's going crazy, Barbara. It's all the bills coming in. The rent and the car payment and the medical bills. He says he's willing to do anything to get money. Anything? He's, he's not violent. No. I just stay out of his way. Oh, no. If he just wouldn't drink, it'd be okay, but he's just... Claudia, you have to do something. Yeah. Hey, who are you talking to? I'm sorry, I can't talk now. In there. I, I'm sorry. I'll take you home. Hello, Barbara. I couldn't call you back until now. I'm sorry. Raymond's in the other room. He just passed out. Has he hurt you? Has no, hurt no, no. We're all right. Oh, thank goodness. Claudia, I don't understand. If he's drinking like that, why don't you do something? You don't understand. I can't talk to him. Look, um, this is not good. I mean, it's not good for, for both of you. If, if he's violent, it's dangerous. Can't you get someone to try to stop him? I asked him to talk to his brother, but he won't. 
Barbara, he's ashamed he lost his job. And he just won't talk to anyone. Look, um, you can't stay on in a situation like this. Not if he's drinking like that. Not if he's violent. You've got to get out of there before so I can't. He's my husband. I can't just leave him. He's basically a good person. I know you don't believe that. Claudia, you have a responsibility and not just to yourself. Barbara, I know you're worried sick about him. I wouldn't let any harm come to him. Look, obviously the situation's out of control. Uh, if you need money, I'd be glad to help. I can send you enough so you can, you can get away and get a place by yourself for a while. I don't want to leave him. Why? You don't understand. I love him. How can you love him after what he's put you through? Barbara, he tried. He took on all the responsibility. It was just too much for him, losing his job and the hospital bills. But it wasn't his fault. He really tried. Well, then what are you going to do? I don't know. Claudia, he could hurt you. He could hurt you both. Don't you understand? You've got to get out of there and take him with you. I can't. Claudia, I'm begging you. I can't. I've got to stay here. Raymond needs me. I've got to try and help him. I shouldn't have called you. Look, wait, we've got to talk. I shouldn't have called you. There's nothing you can do. I can't talk anymore. Claudia!